Namaste. Welcome to my channel. Adrian here. Reading for fire signs for full moon. So come on baby, light my fire. So Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is a reading for all three of you. But if you look in the timestamps, you're going to see that there's going to be a timestamp for each sign. So you still get a full reading. Um, I just had a couple of um, personal, you know, like the detailed readings that I do, like the personal readings that I do. I had a couple of those. Um, so I wasn't able to do the individual readings, so I do them all together. But um, still, for each sign, it's a general guidance reading. So I take what resonates with you, and what doesn't resonate, you release it with love and peace and let it go. Okay, if you want to have a personal detailed reading, it's um, $12 for a 30 minute reading. Um, and I send the video to you, it's like a downloadable video of your reading, so you get to keep that, which is very helpful because I always recommend to people as well with um, like a YouTube video. You know, sometimes you look at a video and um, maybe two or three days later you look at it again and you get something different and something new. So there is quite a lot of value in actually doing that for you. All right, so um, if it's your first time to my channel, welcome. Um, you are more than welcome to subscribe to the channel if it resonates with you. Um, I'm also a Reiki master, crystal healer, angel healer, NLP life practitioner, as well as a regression hypnosis practitioner. So you'll see some of all those other videos on my um, on the YouTube channel. So if you've got some questions with that, maybe first go and see if it's a video does answer that for you. And then alternatively, you can always ask me. I do per sessions in person as well as online. Okay. Um, so, yeah, if you want to follow me on Facebook, you're more than welcome to do so. I go live there quite often. Um, I also draw cards for individuals. Um, on Instagram, I put up motivational material there all the time. And if you're coming back, welcome back. Let's see what we got for you. Okay. So, um... Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I have pre-drawn some cards for you. Um, if you did look at the um, readings that I did for the air signs and the water signs, you would see that I'm drawing them whilst we're doing the video, but it's not really necessary. So I tap into the collective energy and then I pre-draw it for you. Okay, so I'm just making sure I go in the right sequence. We're gonna go with Aries first. But before we do, um, and if it's safe for you to relax, just like in a nice deep breath. And we release with love. Okay. Um, get my spray, air cleansing spray that I made myself. Um, Palo Santo, Rosemary and Citrine Crystals. Some for you. There we go. Some for me. Lovely. In the sacred space. So we're going to go with Aries first. Aries. So we're gonna finish off with the um, with the um, what do you call them now? Um, how am I tripping over my words? <laughs> we're gonna finish off with the um, oracle cards. I'm first gonna draw some tarot cards for you. Okay. See what we got. See what we got. See what we got. Okay. That feels good. It's going to be the clarifiers. Let's draw some cards for you to see what's going on collectively at the moment. Oh, there's a card flipping over just like that for the beautiful sign of Aries. Aries, right? Yeah, Aries. Okay. All right. So Aries, the cards that I have for you are the Five of Wands. And then I've got the Five of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Cups. Okay, so if I look at this, um, seems to be some sort of eternal conflict maybe happening over your Aries. Um, kind of maybe some unfinished business, some loose ends, feeling that some people might, I don't know, maybe owe you an apology, um, but at the other end of that, you know, so if you kind of move past that, then there's quite a lot of abundance that can be experienced actually, um, you know, for you. So if you can actually, I feel that there is some internal conflict happening at the moment. Um, 
but it's and it could be a little bit draining but I also feel that you're moving past it that you're moving through it already okay um, kind of beginning to see that maybe some sort of um, fighting disagreement um, that you might have had that you're kind of moving past that okay and you're beginning to see sort of so you might have had some feelings inside um, maybe even feeling a little bit you know hurt or, or vengeful you know um, or done in that you really feel sort of um, that has been a little bit unfair that's been done towards you but in the same token I also feel you're moving past that and as a result of moving past that um, there is quite a bit of, quite a lot of abundance coming here now this is a um, this is a, a reading for the full moon which is on the 7th of May 2020 full moon in Scorpio um, I didn't explain that in the beginning of the video um, which started with the new moon on the 22nd of April um, which is the new moon in Taurus so really sort of um, you know with new moon in Taurus they're bringing it back to what is it that isn't working what is it that um, that, that kind of like tip the scale mm -hmm. in a way that is unbalanced as you go towards the 7th of May 2020 new moon which is in Scorpio sorry not the moon the full moon my apologies the full moon of the 7th of May which is in Scorpio um, and also of course whenever you look at this this is the right time for you but I'm just dealing with this particular period right now for the sake of this reading all right um, there are still things that are worrying you there with the Nine of Swords, things that are concerning you, maybe where you can feel or, or, or see or experience maybe a sense of almost like lack, um, feeling that things are not working out the way that you want them to work out. Um, and it, it really might give you some quite a bit of worry over there. But then I do feel that, you know, it's almost like there was some grand opportunity that came about that you might have taken um, as a result of wanting to move away from a particular situation that wasn't working. All right. And so you, you might have, I feel, physically moved or made quite large sort of fundamental changes. All right, um, and it's almost like things didn't quite turn out exactly the way that it sort of was promised to you, you know. So there, there seems to have been some kind of disappointment there that took place um, with you. And so um, there is a bit of wounded pride, um, worries, concerns, how do I go forward? But then I really feel that just when you thought that all was lost, never going to work, um, you know, the, the, the ship has basically sailed, then at that point, I do feel that a solution sort of comes back in for you again, all right? So even though everything might feel like it's lost, um, and even though everything might feel like, you know, almost like all hope is gone in a sense, um, I do actually feel that even though everything doesn't work out exactly the way that you thought that it will work out, there is sort of an offer coming. So even if you moved away, or, um, you know, even if you sort of did that drastic sort of move, which made perfect sense to you at the time, um, I, I do feel there's an opportunity for you to either come back, move back, or, you know, where you might have moved from something that seemed totally hopeless, can't be salvaged, um, that, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if I would you if I get like a text message or a call or an email and somebody says to you, hey, you know, um, you're, hey, Aries, would you actually like to consider this? Would you like to try that? We're kind of starting something new, maybe starting it on a smaller scale as to how it was before. Um, and, uh, you know, you might be quite suited to that. Would you be interested in that? Um, so I do feel that sort of opportunity coming around for you as well. All right. Um, so, whereas your, your big sort of dream might not really work out, but you know, the thing about life is sometimes, and it's funny, I had this sort of epiphany just today in my own life, okay, that sometimes we get to a certain point and then we, we at this point and then we move somewhere else as well. And the somewhere else that we move 
to at times can be the very thing that shows you um, that even though you thought you had to move further into a picture, you know, into life, that in fact the solution is simpler than you realize. So sometimes the solution to everything that we want in life is right in front of us, but maybe we still, the timing isn't right, we need to maybe still learn a lesson. Um, so, so there's a couple of things that bothers you about the situation and it doesn't quite work out the way that you might have anticipated for it to work out but it is in taking almost like the longer route that you do almost a bit of like a like, like a loop like a 360 in your life kind of ending where you start you know so this is where you started but you also went a bit out but then in coming back in full circle you realize but this is actually divinely where I was meant to be all along but in that sense even though you might have made a move that might have seemed like a mistake that might have given you a lot of stress that might have made you feel very overwhelmed in that same sense it's showing you that the solution that you were seeking was closer than you imagined so you didn't actually need to go and look for it that far away all right you might have made some sacrifices in along the way that you now feel you shouldn't have made don't be so hard on yourself okay because look at what we got, yo! Right! Righty, 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 Aries. So, the Five of Wands, which is very much sort of the current situation, or, or kind of like reading up to the current situation, is clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. All right? So, you would have made some sort of choice, decision. I don't know why, but I feel like a physical move. Um as in a physical move, you know, be it you, be it somewhere else, someone else, but I pick up mostly you. Um, and it really might have seemed like, you know, that you are moving to the land of like, um, you know, milk and honey, so to speak. And you not really, it's, you're not really to blame because at the time, everything would have really appeared to be the complete answer to a prayer, which it very much might have been, okay? Um, so the opportunity seemed right, the abundance seemed right, all seemed to line up, um, prosperity, success, growing forward, whatever, I'm going to grow all day, that sort of thing. So there wasn't really plans to kind of come back, all right? But also remember that I feel that at the time there might be it might have been a little voice in your mind that was nagging just a little bit and saying, you know what, Aries, is this really the best choice for you? But you kind of chose to block that voice out, okay? as we sometimes do when we get excited about things in life. Okay. So there was some inner conflict that got there as a result because there has been some disappointment. Um, the, the 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 five of cups in reverse is clarified by the eight of wands. So there has been some disappointment that has taken place, I feel for you. Um, but also remember with the since we, we're only really looking at it feels like a lot might have happened in a short succession of time. Okay. Or or rather that it that it's been happening but not as much as it is now. Um so it does feel that you might have found some peace within the moment. So realizing that, you know, it is what it is. Um, I can't really... For some reason, I feel like, like you made a decision out of free will. But it's almost like it's not 100% just up to you to make the change back. Okay? So there are other sort of um, aspects at play here. Things that are a little bit out of your control, out of your hands. So you might have stepped into the situation voluntarily. But it's almost like you can't just step out of it voluntarily again. If that makes sense. Okay. So it's a little bit challenging. It's really, really challenging. But then it's also like you found peace within the moment. And it's almost like a spiritual awakening in a sense that when you realize that, okay, I can't change this. And so instead of focusing on the, on the spilt milk, so to speak, kind of went into a moment where you're like, okay, so I can't really change it. There's nothing that I really can do about it. So I can just as well accept it. And when you did that, there with the Ace of Cups as clarified by the Fool, 
you really change everything for yourself, for the better. Okay? So when you went into that space where you were like, you know, so it really doesn't seem like I might be able to change this around. When you, when you allow that kind of thinking to enter your mind, everything changed. Absolutely everything changed. Okay? You put yourself on a new path. Um, so, because for a while it was, whatever you did for a while there, it was amazing. Okay? It was amazing. And it was the best experience probably of your life. Um... There were just so many reasons to smile. And what I like so much is that you would have gotten to a point where you would have realized that, okay, so maybe everything didn't continue to unfold in the way that you might have preferred. But if you look at the, the beauty that you have experienced as a result of this decision that might have, you know, in, in reflex, um, you know, might have looked like a mistake. But when you look at it and you see all the beauty that have actually come as a result of it, then you're like, you know, it may not appear to, to be the best thing that might have ever happened to me in my life. However, the positive from it is so amazingly great that that is the benefit. And in a way, that sort of mindset, that, that sort of acceptance put you on a whole new path, on a whole new, beautiful, prosperous path um, that... I believe made you look at things in a different way um, and I feel that, that that some of you and this may have drained your energy a little bit there for a while some of you may realize that even though at the time when you made your decisions that you felt that that you didn't have another choice that this was the best way to go forward because because and because you, you kind of began to realize that you may have been just a little bit rushed over there, okay? Um, you may have overlooked some opportunities. You may have um, given up some sort of um, stabilities that was that you didn't need to give up, you know, overlooking some things that weren't working. But I feel that for quite a longest time there, Aries, you might have been feeling quite stuck, okay? And you might have absolutely hated this feeling of having no choice, feeling stuck. And so you wanted to move on to something new. I do, however, feel that, you know, especially with Aries being Aries, um, I, I do feel that there is some sort of um, backup plan that has been put into place there, somehow by you, or some kind of something that you allowed there to be set into place there, um, almost like a nest egg in a sense. Um, that you could fall back on and you might have been doing so very conscientiously or you might have actually been doing so that in, in a sense that you didn't think too much about it at the time but now it's like that sort of rolling out and um, the benefit of that is really starting to roll out for you in life so you are actually beginning to see how much more opportunity you have And that sparks like a whole new field of excitement, which in a sense make you realize maybe you've taken a little break, you need a little rest, you've put in a little, quite a lot on your plate, and now it's a continuation, and things can unfold even more beautifully than you ever imagined. Okay? So what might have seen, like, um, sort of things falling through, you know, um, falling apart, might actually have been things really falling into place. And you're beginning to see that now. Okay? The Nine of Swords there is clarified by the Death card. So, um, I'm sorry, with the Nine of Swords, we said there that uh, lots of worries, lots of concerns, but Aries, this is also a good time to give yourself a break. Okay? You to give yourself a very well-deserved break. You are definitely moving into a new period and things are a little uncertain. Of course, you don't really like it when things are uncertain, okay? It really kind of throws you. Um, but uh, it's like moving into a new period of time. 
So there is that sort of crossing over phase. And if I can make a recommendation, I would say breathe through the change. Breathe through the situations that kind of make your heart stress in a sense. Okay? Breathe through those moments. Uh, give yourself a chance to feel the emotions. And I feel it's a good period for you to rest. Okay? Um, you are moving from what is... It's almost like what feels like... It's almost like what could feel is within your control. Moving into a period where you feel that you don't have that much control. And it's really kind of making you trip. Okay? Um, but I do feel that you move... You see the direction that you're moving in there with the Nine of Swords and the, and the Death card. Especially since the Fool and the Ace of Cups was right before that. Okay? Um... On this new part that you're moving into, remember, um, as you would always hear me say, not all positive change always feels all that positive in the beginning. But you are moving to really something new. And it's it's beautiful. You know, it, it could it could actually feel like things are falling apart at the moment. It really can. Um, it could be feeling very overwhelming, like nothing makes sense. Um, and you just kind of want to cry and like scream into the wind. But um, I can confirm for you that things are moving into a... It's just like a new chapter is unfolding. And it's almost like, you know, where things might have been written in big print before. They're kind of being written in smaller print now. And it's a little bit dark and you don't have your glasses. So it's a little bit difficult to read. Okay? Doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Page of Cups is clarified how amazing is this by the six of wands how amazing is this wow six of wands moving into your moment moving into your shine something small is going to come about but an offer will be made to you it may have been made already but i feel that it's going to be made to you um which it's almost like when you look back at it, you you might you might feel that you're of course at the moment, but you're actually exactly where you need to be. Because it's like your soul is, it's it's like you're at this moment where you need to be because you need to cry out sort of like for a higher purpose. Okay, um, I feel that you might have been a little lax, maybe a little bit lenient with the details there. You know, very much saying okay, the universe will sort it out, that sort of thing. Um, but it's almost like you're crying it for specifics and that's exactly the reason why you're getting it. So, you could be looking forward to some kind of offer coming through there, Aries. Um, something that might be new, but it's also a continuation, sort of, of where you've been before. Okay. Like, the path of life kind of goes in its ups and downs. So, you might be feeling a little bit kind of down at the moment... And it seems like things are not working out for you. But it's also um, that, that period of acceptance that you went through earlier on. Early on in your reading that we had there. That's kind of where it started. So you might be feeling in a bit of the bendy side of the loop. Where it's almost like being stuck in the bottom of a, like a pit or something. You can't get out on your own. But a ladder is being thrown down for you. Okay. And as you, as you climb that ladder and you get more back in towards the light, you begin to see that you were actually never really lost in the first place. Okay? It's like a period of... Um, it's like it's like you got... Like you lost your vision maybe a bit for a while there. Like you're a bit lost on your path. And for the greatest purpose, you needed to be reminded in a sense. Okay? Let me know in the comments if it makes sense. So, Oracle Cards. Number 16 there, um, it says Rescue. And I want you to understand that the position where you're currently standing at, if at, at this point or going forward, because it can happen quite suddenly, where... I'm sorry, that you feel, it's, 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 it's weird, it's like you are exactly where you want it to be. And what is like a 
blessing sort of for you. I don't know. It's like you wanted to be at a certain place and now you find yourself there. But now that you're there, in many ways you could realize this is actually where you need it. This is not really where you need it to be. So I feel it's quite frustrating and it's, it's almost like you feel that there might not be anybody that you can speak to, that you can talk to because people might remind you but this is where you wanted to go. Okay? And feeling sort of isolated in the in the middle of your blessings that's kind of frustrating okay listen angel um, oracle card that says listen so quiet your mind beloved one and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. The universe got your back, Baba. A quiet mind and body hears us, the angels, quickly and clearly. This is our request to you that you listen. Okay? So you might have been trying to figure out things from your own perspective of your own mind. Okay? Answering the call. The time is now. So it might seem like you're stuck, but also things are beginning to work out for you. And when you look back, you might see like, oh, okay, so that's what's happening. That side was unfolding. How fascinating. <laughs> this card says that you'll be surprised. Ask with love and their answer may surprise you. Yet whatever their answer, be happy and this may surprise them. Okay? So shine that incredible Aries light into the universe. What do we have here for um, Crystal Oracle Amethyst Meditation? So going to the quiet space. Remember that a lot of times in order for the solution to... The solution could already be there. But it's when we go into the quiet space that we allow it to filter through for us. Okay? So a lot of times we can feel that nothing is working out, but a lot of times or majority of times really the reason why it feels like nothing is working out because oftentimes we are the ones that are standing in our own way because we're trying to find an answer from, uh, you know, to a stressful situation from past experiences. But if you're in a situation where you've never been before and you don't really know how to deal with this sort of situation, then you can't really find the solution you know, based on where you are, because you don't understand where you are. But when you can step back and you can allow the universe to come through, so go into the quiet meditative space. And even if it means that you haven't been sleeping well, or be keeping yourself well busy with a whole lot of things you don't need to keep yourself busy with, get the moment where you relax. So quiet meditation, sleep, whatever, taking a long bath, watching a comedy on television, reading a book you always wanted to read, maybe taking a course you always wanted to take, cooking, whatever your thing is, doing something, you know, and if you, I feel that you might have been keeping yourself in quite a, um, a cycle of rigidity, it's time to give yourself a little bit of a moment to breathe, okay, it's time to give yourself a kind of a break over there, all right, and as you do, the solution you seek actually comes to you. You don't have to go to it. Because I feel that many of you feel that you have to go to the solution. But it could also very easily come to you. Okay. Seven. Chariot. Archangel Metatron. Angel, it's all about new stuff and new starts and new beginnings. An important achievement. Self-discipline and willpower. Public recognition. Same as your, um, you know, the page of cups that was, um, that was clarified there by the six of wands. So something's coming in for you, but you might be blocking it by trying to find the right solution. So if you can get out of your own way and sort of allow the universe to be the universe, you know, as I say, let God be God, it might really surprise you. So it's time to give yourself a little break over there now, okay? Because it says the time is now. 
and you'll be surprised. Allow life to surprise you. Allow life to surprise you. And it could very well just take your breath away. Okay? So that's what I got for you, Aries. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your energy. Remember, if you want to have a personal detailed reading, $12, I sent you a downloadable 30-minute reading. Um, follow me on Facebook and on Instagram for some of my live sessions where I could maybe draw like one card for you. Um, and also, if it resonates with you, I invite you to subscribe to my channel um, and hit that notification bell so when the readings do come through, you know that they're actually coming through. Okay. Thank you so much. Namaste. Love and light. Leo. Hi. So this is your um, full moon reading, which at this particular point in time is on the 7th of May 2020. It started with the new moon in Taurus on the 22nd of April. Um, of course, whichever point in time you're looking at this reading is the right time for you to be looking at it. So if you're looking at it and you're not within that time frame, don't say like, oh my goodness, bollocks, I can't look at this now because the time is wrong. There are no coincidences in the universe. You see things when you are meant to see them. You come across them when you are meant to come across them. Divine intervention. Okay. Right. Let's see what we all got for you. Oh, so these are the oracle cards. We're going to do them afterwards. Let me draw some tarot cards for you, Leo. Okay. Let's see what the new moon in Scorpio is bringing for you. And I was going to say it might be a bit of a challenging time, but it appears not. Ha <laughs> ha! It appears not. Starting off there with the Knight of Swords. The Four of Wands. This is Romance. The King of Cups. This is Romance. The Two of Cups. This is Romance. The Lovers. So you could very well be dealing with a Gemini or somebody with strong Gemini in their chart. Could also be a Scorpio. Or actually any other water sign for that matter. Scorpio... Um, Pisces Cancer if I had to bet money I would say probably more Scorpio possibly Pisces depending on what happens if it is Pisces it will probably be Pisces with a, lot, with a very strong Sagittarius in their chart um, or an Earth sign but it could very well be an Earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn okay but if there is some kind of Sagittarius um energy here somebody probably very sort of very sort of serious and firm you know maybe in the workplace very proper very together um, you know suits or dresses or skirts or whatever kind of all very finely nicely dressed um, ironed in the pleats so very proper but then at home a very sort of different person you know very happy go lucky um, could be the person that you're dealing with it could obviously be you as well okay but I feel you with the Nine of Swords for you, Leo. It's like you're moving forward. Um, your mind is... You've, you've got your... Your mind's made up about something. You're moving with it. This is for you. I've made up my mind. As Adele says, I've made up my mind. No need to think it over. Okay? It's a very sort of set on that. Moving into the four of ones there. So some of you, very much, I, I feel that many of you might have decided that you want to be in a relationship with somebody, um, that you want to get married to someone, get engaged. Um, I also feel that some of you might literally be in that situation where it's almost like a like a movie. Now remember, Leo, that you can be a little bit, <laughs> you can be a little bit dramatic sometimes. So. I do feel that it's almost like those situations that you get in a movie that maybe the person's left and you know they're in the cab or they're at, the, at the, whatever the waterfront or some place where there's like a boat or like a plane or whatever and you've decided mm -mm, that's my person I'm gonna go for that goal and nothing but nothing in this universe can stop you because you have made up your mind this is your person 
This is your, there were the King of Cups. This is, this is definitely a coming together. This is definitely, unexpectedly, about love. Okay? Um, coming together, made up the mind, decided. Definitely decided. Maybe, I would say, Others may have said, you know, why don't you give it a chance? But I do feel, and maybe even more in your mind than in others, that you could feel that this is a bit of a, um, how would you put this? An odd coupling, you know, that you may have been like, you guys don't understand. You don't get it. It's, it's you know, he's different. She's different. And where you might have seen that as a problem before. You now realize that it is the strangeness, this oddity, that actually attracts you to this person. It is not without its challenges, though. Okay? Because whilst you might feel the one way, the other person, you might need to convince this person a little bit. Okay? Um, I feel that some of you might have... Um, been on your own mission and trip here for a while and somebody might have let you go and just because you are coming forward and you're being all valiant about things and you've made up your mind this person could very well be like you know what no, I don't actually care how you feel to me it's totally inconsequential how you feel I don't care you let me go you cut me off or you didn't give me the time or the energy or the us or the chance or the whatever. So this person's like, whatever. I don't, I don't really care how you feel. You know? You may come there to the airport with a whole sign. And well, I don't really say airport at the moment because most of the world's in lockdown. But you know what I'm saying? You could come there and you make this very bold sort of um, decision. I do feel as I look in this forward, it feels like you... It's almost like this other person is not convinced by you. Because this might almost be like a repeating sort of um, circumstances taking place here. So the Knight of Swords is clarified by the Hierophant. So you're going to have to put a little work in here. Because it's almost like a pattern that's, received, that's repeating itself. And this other person is not quite convinced. Alright? They're not quite convinced by your um, bravado, so to speak, if I can call it that. And you may, I feel that you, I feel that you're very sincere this time, but it's almost like, listen, you've done this before, and um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put myself through this again, okay. So the Four of Wands is clarified there by the Five of Pentacles. Also remember that, of course, you have a lot of... Never forget your power, all right? If you look at some of my other videos, you'll, you'll see me talking about that a lot. And I feel that a lot of you have time. So before you actually go there and just jump into stuff, look at some of my other videos. So look at some of the other videos about the people on YouTube or, or television or whatever calls out to you. And see what you can maybe get as some guidance about life. Because remember that if you could send that positive sort of energy forward for the greatest good of all, honoring the highest good of every soul, um, then the situation could be quite different. Now, I don't feel that you are coming from a, from a dishonoring part. I don't get that. But what I'm saying is, instead of just jumping forward, try to look at things from the other person's point of view. This could be a different situation in life. It could be, it could be friends. It could be, um, you know, whatever, moving out with a flatmate. It could be business. But I do pick up, uh, uh, there's a very special feeling here. So it could very well be romance. It could be coming from both sides. But I do feel that it's almost like somebody needs to be convinced here. Okay. King of Cups um, clarified there by the Emperor. So you're going to have to really, 
you may need to um if i can put it like this really you know if you if you still stay with the movie sort of analogy instead of putting up the big banner but i love you you know i'm um, sort of will you marry me or having a you know instead of having sort of like an airplane obviously depending on your circumstances in life you know having an airplane flying across the field where the players are playing the sports or you know instead of having that sort of name up in lights going with that you know mandy i love you john i need you that is not going to work or that big fanfare that you may think that, that you may do it from the best intentions, but this is more one of those situations where when you kneel down, you know, kind of like in the mat with a ring and say, well, you marry me type of thing. I do feel that being, when you can really be 100% honest, with your emotions. Um, the person will see it as humble. Okay. They'll see. They need that. There's a moment of truth that is needed here. So I wouldn't say. I wouldn't recommend that you go out there. And try to be impressionable. Ask, what does this person need? I'm sorry. What do they what do they really need from you? And for some of you, you'd really have to go and sit down and think a little bit. What were they always complaining about? What were they stressing about? What were they shouting about? What were they nagging about? Those things that they went like nya, 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 that made you want to go. Ugh. Okay? Because they were communicating their needs to you, and I feel that. You really, from the from the best point inside your heart, I get very genuine intentions here, but it's almost like you are kind of coming from different angles, and there was some very strong sort of miscommunication happening, and I don't know why, but it's like I get like a gypsy, it's like a gypsy, like a very, uh, you know, gypsy sort of gypsy with like a like a like a. Um, you know, like the like the purple and the, like the gold tassels and, you know, um, maybe something that could have been at like some kind of like a carnival or something. It was like a like a crystal ball. Um, there's a moment of real simplicity. I don't know why I'm getting that, but there's a moment of simplicity here required. Okay. And two of cups is clarified there with a the seven of um, ones. Because again, you, 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 I feel that you're coming from very positive intentions, but those positive intentions, this is very, uh, very bravado is not what is needed here. So you almost want to kind of ask yourself, what will a, um, <laughs> what will a simpler being do? What 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 will a what will a non Leo person do? Like a water sign, those people that are always so in their emotions, okay. So if you know like a like a like a maybe an earth sign or like especially a water sign, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, what do I do here? They may be able to give you very good advice, okay. Because there with the lovers uh, clarified by the eight of swords. Easy really does it here. There's a big vision, there's a big goal, and you can see in your mind that this can really, really work. You really get it. But it's almost like the faith is not coming from both sides. Okay? It's like the other person isn't quite getting it. So what you, if I may, if I may make a suggestion, what I would recommend in a moment like this is you ask yourself, so what does the other person need? What do they need? Okay. I don't really feel that there's, that it needs, uh, 
a fan phase really not required here. The solution is simple. So be mindful that if you maybe want to, let's use it like this. Let's imagine you want to do something really romantic. So there's a whole lot of roses and all over the place and there's something like a market tent and there's like some little fairy lights or whatever. I don't really feel that that will get you the desired effect. What I feel will get you the desired effect is maybe one simple rose, um, even if it's possibly in a pot instead of being cut off and, you know, being like really sort of, uh, <laughs> I'm laughing now because I'm thinking if somebody comes to me and does something like that, I'll probably melt. But you know, when you, because I don't really like it when you cut off flowers. Um, and I'm not just putting my own in here. I'm just laughing because I'm, I'm, I'm thinking how if somebody does something like that with me, how I will melt. So please understand that I'm not putting my own stuff into your reading. Okay. But it's like, you have a, a flower, maybe like inside a pot and you go, it's like, you know what? Um, very poetic, but it has to be genuine from your heart. And they, you know, if they, they, it, it might surprise even you. Okay. Saying like, you know, I, and you've got permission to quote me. <laughs> um, I really wanted to, and also, sorry, if you, if you do this and you do it from a point of no attachments, no expectations, that is where the power lies. If you're going to do this with a means to an end to try and be impressionable, it's not going to work. They're going to see straight through you. Okay. And that is where the whole banner, the airport thing, and the helicopter flying over the sports field and whatever, that's where that is not going to work. Okay. But when you come in, you say, you know what, I wanted to get you there. I wanted to give you something, you know, from my heart. Um, and it, make, it makes me feel kind of uncomfortable. This is not really who I am. But um, I, I, I was trying my best to give you something special. And so this is what I could have kind of come up with. Okay. I thought that you might appreciate this most. And I understand that I may have, you know, really um, messed up. But um, I hope that if you can't give us another chance, I do hope that this will be a reminder of what I would have hoped things might have become. Now, if you mean that very genuinely, even if you quote me, if you mean it very genuinely, I feel a very good outcome. Even if it takes a while. And that could actually become quite a symbol of your love. It could be very Shakespearean going forward. But if you're going to do it, it's just another trick up your sleeve. I'm telling you now already, don't even bother. Don't waste your time, it ain't going to work. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we've got for you in Oracle cards. Tell us, man, what is the magic? What is the magic in the path going forward? Okay. You are, many of you are discovering, maybe being shown to a very romantic side, but there's something kind of some magic unlocking, some, you know, all relationships and even, you know, long-term relationship, like, like a marriage, for example, you get to a point where you're like, you know, now I am done with this person. I'm done with you. I, nobody should even breathe your name. It's like a, like a dragon. <laughs> And at this point, what would happen is you can either go your separate ways, but if you could find together in honesty with both parties, if you could find a way to work through this, that is where the magic of real life happens. And I feel this is sort of the um, precipice where you're standing at the moment. This is actually the foundation for everything. It might seem like everything is falling apart, but this is the foundation for everything for you. And if you could make it to this, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby, then you'll be able to get through everything going forward. Okay? Because you made that decision. Um, Angel, Oracle, card there for you. It says assertiveness. This situation can be healed gently and with love as you've requested. You see, your, your intention is good. You come from a good side. Yet there's also a need for your strength and truthfulness with the other 
people involved. Didn't I just say this? Along with my spiritual team called Smile, we will stand, this is the angels, right behind, we will stand right behind you as you speak your truth, giving you strength and guiding your words. You've got this. Um, rejuvenating rain, there's a call here for trust. I feel you already got trust in the other person. It's about trusting yourself. Okay, Clear the past and heal the present. Don't throw things that happen before in people's face. Those you love, love you. Come on, guys. I don't look at these cards before. Yeah? It says, to be beautiful in the eyes of another, simply forget that they are watcher. Hmm. Crystal Oracle there says, divine temple, source, Source of all, unlimited potential. This could be beautiful. And your angel tarot card, this is six of fire. Hmm. Victory, victory. Good news is on its way, public recognition or award. So you don't actually need to change who you are. Okay. It's so amazing. It's like a, it's, it's such a deja vu moment. It's like I dreamed this dream, this, this reading last night. You know, you know, obviously this is for collective conscious, but you get, you align with the energy. So amazing. Okay. So thank you so much for your time, your energy, your love, and your light, Leo. May this reading serve you in abundantly positive ways. You can get through this. It won't be easy, but you'll get through it. You can get through it, okay? There's great potential here for you. If you can just sacrifice your pride. But I also a reaffirming message that you, it doesn't mean that you have to change who you are. You might actually surprisingly through the situation in a short period of time, you know, two to three weeks from now, realize that this is bringing you more towards a greater expansion of who you are. Okay? Wow. So if it resonates with you, you're more than welcome to follow me on Facebook or on Instagram. Those links are down below. Um, if you want to have a personal detailed reading, um, $12 for a 30 minute downloadable video that I sent to you. Um, if you do maybe feel that also, but you know, a lot of information is reading or harsh, take some time and look at it again. You know, take the information, give you a break, and then watch it bit by bit. Okay? Know that what I give you, I give you from a point of love. It's to want to help you. To have your greatest experience of life, and so it is. And if you feel, um, you know, if it resonates with you, then you're also more than welcome to subscribe to my channel and put a, a notification so when I put out the next video next week, then you, you get to get the ongoing story of your life. It's so exciting. I love it. Right. And Sagittarius, beautiful Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly reading with me, Adrian Nelson, holistic wellness practitioner based in the beautiful Cape Town of South Africa. Okay, um, you're more than welcome to follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you wanna. I got some. Sometimes I go live there as well. I go live there often on Facebook, especially. Um, and if it resonates with you more than welcome to subscribe to the channel, that's a general guided reading. So you take what resonates and what doesn't resonate, release it with love and peace and let it go. Okay. Let's see, Sagittarius, what we got for you. This is your full moon reading. Full moon for this particular reading being what's going on here? What's going on here? Okay, no, no, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's just wait, what happened? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sagittarius, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Some confusion happening here. What's what's going on? Let's spray some air cleansing spray. Okay. Mm. That's right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Some rosemary, citrine crystal, and Palo Santo spray cleansing the air there for you. We had some heavy stuff with Leo just before. So. Breathe with me. Mm. OK, 
Okay. Such a terror. So, at every point in time you look at this video, it's the right time for you to look at it. Oh, I like that energy I'm feeling. Mm. If you close your eyes for a moment, can you feel it too? It feels so beautiful. I love it. Okay, so six cards. Okay, okay, no problem. No problem. Everybody else gets five, but you get six. If not, why not? So, what are the six cards that you got, Sagittarius? Some need for balance here. Okay, there we go. Guidance. Hmm. Two of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Four of Cups. Two of Wands. This is an interesting story. King of Swords. Five of Swords. So it seems like things were going quite well there for a while. I'm so sorry. Some good balance that was happening over there. Things were going well. Until they were not. And then there was some new sort of opportunity that came in there. Some new sort of, a bit of a game changer came in there. And you were like, oh, I don't know, no, 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 no. Some strong hesitation that's taking place here. I feel that you felt very lost. But you... What you may have initially thought was, was probably one of the worst things that could happen. Kind of gave you more hope and vision for the future already. So you could, could, look, could kind of look forward again. It's like, it's almost like you got an opportunity to see you being much stronger than you might have actually given yourself credit for. Hmm. Nice. So, real opportunity for growth here. And it almost feels like some things that weren't serving you positively, that it's, it's, it's kind of like by you going into that space of peace. Or more like fed up acceptance. <laughs> um, that you got to see a new way of how things could be. New unfolding. Okay. Hmm. You were sort of playing yourself down there for a while. That it's almost like somebody else might have been running the show. And you try to convince yourself, really for the longest time, I feel really from, from the best intentions, might have felt for the longest time convincing yourself that this person is the best at doing that. You did kind of, in the back of your mind, realize that that is not the truth. And then you got yourself in a bit of a sticky toffee situation there. And you didn't quite know how to get out of it. And in a way, it's like you withdrew yourself out of the situation because you didn't know what to do. Um... And then by doing that, you went into the space of surrender and life actually sorted everything out for you. And kaboom, there you are. Exactly where you were meant to be, right from the first place. But that moment was it was necessary there. And it's, it's almost like a new broom sort of sweeping through the place. With the five of swords there next to the king of swords. I feel there might have been a lot of attention to many details that it didn't necessarily have to be at. Oi, 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 such a terrace. Aye, this is good. <laughs> um, the solution going forward that I feel that you might have, you know, kind of, you were getting very frustrated with something. And you didn't want to be that horrible, nasty person. But things were getting to a point that they were kind of explosive. And you had to physically remove yourself from the situation. Either that or there was going to be blood on the dance floor. Huh? But obviously that beauty of who you are started to shine out again. I felt that you needed, it's, it's almost like there were, there was so much frustration that it's almost like you needed to step away to kind of breathe 
and to reevaluate the situation, but also yourself, because it's like there was so much almost madness in the situation, but it was all very much on a down low. Um, that you might have felt that you needed to make some very drastic decisions there. But before making anything, I feel that many of you step in this space you're like, you know what, before I make a horrible mistake, my goodness, my goodness, my goodness, you know, before I make the biggest mistake of my life maybe, you know, or that could negatively affect someone else, let me rather step away a bit because I feel that this person might not have, you know, that like the other parties involved might not have realized how extremely frustrated you were, you know? Yeah. Hmm. So you were like, before I detonate a bomb, let me rather step out a little bit here. So you actually made the wisest decision. You made a wise choice because whether you did it from a point of frustration or from a point of love, I don't really feel too much a point of love, yeah? <laughs> but if you know, like, you actually made the best choice. So in a sense, you were still divinely guided. So the Two of Pentacles is is, um, is clarified there by temperance. So you did still make the loving choice, okay? And you were willing to give everything up if you had to and start over right from the beginning again, if they meant because you already had a strong foundation. And it's almost like you begin to see that, it, that this fight wouldn't really be worth it. So you didn't want to fight it. Okay. It's like the darkest moment they've brought you into so much light that it surprises even you. And that is beautiful. Okay. And of course, with that new moon day in Taurus, especially there on the 22nd, start on the 22nd of April, it's about going back to basics. What are the things that are working? What are the things that are necessary? What are the things that, you know, that I can let go of? The things that weren't so necessary in my life. You've really matured through the situation. Not meaning that you were immature before, but... Things you saw them in a perspective that you'd never seen them before and that gave you some clarity and light and also made you realize that you've got more choices than you might have originally thought if you sort of stayed. It's like you withdrew from a situation, okay? And then the Wheel of Fortune is clarified there by the Judgment card, 10 tens, also 10s doubling up, all right? There were the Wheel of Fortune 10 and then the Judgment card being 20. So the end of a lot of cycles for you, and I feel that in many ways you might have still been living quite a lot in the past, trying to recreate the past without maybe even realizing that you were doing so. Um, and I feel that now you're sort of getting the clarity that you wouldn't have gotten while you were in the situation, whilst it might have seemed like the other person to a strong, strong, strong degree, um, you know, in some sort of whatever, you know, partnership relationship that you might have been in, um, that you also kind of see that in many ways this was also you. Okay? You were not as innocent as you might have felt yourself to have been initially. You did play quite a fundamental part in this. So the Four of Cups there in the Justice card. Justice clarifying the Four of Cups. So some sort of offer, some kind of game changer came in here. You realize that it was the best decision. You realize it was the equilibrium of things. I did feel that it kind of came from the other side and not so much from you. But there's, there's quite a lot of guilt involved here. It's like your heart is really bleeding. Like you knew this was the best choice, the best decision. For everyone really. But your heart is bleeding because you are beginning to see how you have actually contributed to this situation don't beat yourself up about stuff that you can't um, you know change but of course an apology is a very 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 powerful thing and i'm really reminded of saying that you're so strong that an apology is a powerful thing however also confirming for you that the steps that were taken were necessary especially um, you know, when you did your size, I feel that at some point you feel that you might have let somebody down. It's like you ran away from a situation. You may have called it many other things, but here's a simple uh, 
to for for you know for those of you that it resonates with you ran away i feel that you ran away and that it wasn't really your intention at the time, but you can understand now how this person might feel that you left him or her in the lurch and that you were actually a coward. Okay? Um, and also seeing a very beautiful side of this other person that you didn't actually realize it was there. But that's the best sort of shell. So the best thing you can do is say, Bon voyage, wish them the best, really from your heart, but... You don't really want to repeat this sort of situation because it's almost now through all the pain, through all the worries, through all the concern, through all the frustration, things have kind of evened themselves out. Okay? Hmm. And if such a big thing could be evened out, then, you know, don't worry too much about the small concerns because life can sort it out for you as well. Two of Wands, they're clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. You could see how going forward, I really feel that you can see how you were the best person for the job right from the start. It's At some point, it's almost I feel like you may have said something, slipped some word, may have been misunderstood, and you decided, oh, you keep the peace, you're just going to go with it. You didn't want to rock the boat. And... That kind of led to a lot of boat rocking, you know, to a bit of a tsunami feel. But the energy is now gone. Okay? The air has been cleared in a sense. King of Swords, clarified by the Knight of Wands. There's still... It feels like you might have held, your, held yourself back, but this is also what I want to say to you, Sagittarius. With all respect, with all love, with all light, honoring the greatest, highest good of your soul, you need to move on from this nonsense. Well, it happened the way that it was supposed to happen. It played out the way that it was supposed to be played out. All in divine plan. Remember that as much as the other, you know, parties would have been, uh, you know, playing their parts, their universal divine parts in you reaching this point in your life, same way you play the parts in their lives as well. Okay, we are all souls playing this game together. Okay, so don't blame yourself for things that are not your fault. Ask forgiveness. I feel there's a lot of, I feel a lot of hurt inside you. Um. Really bothered. In a sense, almost wishing for simpler times before life was so complicated. A lot of reflecting back on that. I feel like life has got an opportunity to get so much better for you though. Five of Swords there, clarified with the Nine of Cups. You might be shouldering more responsibility now. But I really feel that you're going to be styling this. You've learned your lessons. So you really need to stop feeling sorry for yourself. You've learned your lessons. It's okay to not know 100% what to do. It's okay to be feeling a little bit out of your debt. Um, but you will learn as you learn with everything else in life. You can do this. Now go out and do it. Okay. Ah. Look at this beautiful oracle card here for you. And it's the artwork on this card is so beautiful. It says, first of all, it's the number 12 for every hour of the day. You know what to do. Slow and steady. Easy does it. Slow and steady. Angel oracle card. Very clearly saying there, let go of the past. The burden of carting your past around has made you weary. Your soul's tired. You don't want to do this past no more. You want to have new exciting adventures. Okay. Dear one, it's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. A whole new world. Ow. A new fantastic point of view. You don't want it or need it and it's now 
gone. Remember, everything has a season, everything has a reason, and when it's time to go, it's time to go. Don't hold on to that, it no longer serves you in a positive way. What does this say? Great adventure. Take a risk and venture forward. Give yourself a chance to feel happiness, love, life, and peace, and harmony, and bliss. Give yourself a chance to surprise yourself. Okay? <laughs> I like this card. Ha ba ba ba. Ha ba ba ba. You know the dreamy look of deep, soulful love you sometimes see in the eyes of another as they gaze into your own. Expect a lot more of that. Woohoo! The universe. Okay? Things are about to get beautiful for you. But give yourself a chance. This whole running around thingy, you know, feeling poor me, poor me, poor me. That's not getting you anywhere. It's not serving you any sort of purpose. Don't do it no more. Let that ship go. Look at this Morganite Crystal Oracle card. Relationship healing. Now, remember last week I did love readings. And if you haven't taken a look at it, I would recommend that you go look at it. Because I remember your reading quite specifically, Sagittarius. And if I remember correctly, because of course I've done some other readings in the meanwhile. I remember it so distinctly that there's a great chance for you for love in this world, but you, you know that sort of emotional side that can sometimes make you feel kind of gooey, you know, like, like you don't really want to go there. That is sort of required for you. And I really feel that you need that right now. So if you want, if you, if you want that person, you're going to have to go for it because I feel the chances of them doing it coming to you are very small because they just assume that you're no longer interested. Okay, And I really feel that that, that specific person that you might be thinking of is really uh, what you need right now. Okay, Seven of Fire, Angel Tarot there. Defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, and choose your battles wisely. Don't fight yourself. Okay? You've got so much potential for such beauty in this world. You're a Sagittarius. You can do this, Baba. Okay, you've got what it takes. Now you just need to... It's like you know and believe it yourself already, but you need to move forward. Slow and steady, easy does it, day by day. Okay? Thank you for your time. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your love and your light. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Order a personal detail reading if you want it. $12 for a 30-minute reading. And um, if it resonates with your heart and it feels like the right thing to do for you, subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you soon.